Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at a new or a different Windows Deep Bloater. As many of you know, I do recommend using Chris Titus Tech's one tool for everything to deep bloat Windows. And recently I posted a video on TikTok on how to deep bloat Windows in under one minute using one tool for everything. And there was a bunch of different comments. Some people saying use a custom OS, do this, do that, use Linux, you know how it is. But there was a couple of comments talking about this deep bloating tool right here, which is Talon by Raven. And we're on their website now and we'll just take a little look at what it talks about. It tells you about how Windows is bloated, pack full of telemetry, advertisements, blah blah yada yada. Basically this tool promises to completely deep bloat your system. I did watch a video a few weeks back where the owner of this software address some of the issues you may face or issues in the past that they have fixed and yeah here we are now i've decided we're going to test it out and see if it's any good i'll leave links to everything in the description um, as well as i'll kind of go through how to actually install it it does say here talon is designed to be used on a freshly installed windows 11 system earlier on today i was on my main uh, system not a brand new install and I run the tool anyway, it didn't break it or anything, but there is a chance that it could cause an issue. But I'd done that so I knew how to install it and how to go through the process. Right now we're on a brand new installation of Windows. As you can see, Windows 11 Pro 24H2 installed today, 15th of the 7th. So I haven't installed anything, all I've done is gone through and done the necessary Windows updates haven't installed anything or done anything like I said but anyway as a baseline obviously this is just how Windows is stock obviously I've changed the background because I hate the stock Windows but we haven't changed anything else we've still got a bunch of bloat within Windows it's important to note that I do install Windows as an offline account when you first install Windows or when you fresh install Windows from a USB, it will ask you to sign in with Microsoft. And what this means is obviously you're signing, you'll, have, you'll be logged in with your Microsoft account. But I'm pretty sure that there's a more, even more bloat that can actually be included with Windows, like Candy Crush, etc. But I always do it offline. So I'm not actually signed in on Microsoft. And that's how I do it. And I do later on then sign in on the Microsoft Store if I want to play any games on there. But like I said, this is how the Windows is currently looking. This is everything that's installed. So not really all that much bloat. I mean, there's a few solitaire, a few other bits. Normally, I would just use Revo Uninstaller to uninstall all the apps that I use. And then use Chris Titus Tech's one tool for everything to deep bloat Windows. But the goal here today is to see how much this tool will actually deep bloat Windows. That way you haven't got to use multiple different tools to do everything you need to do. If this tool is successful, if it drops our processes down, maybe even lowers our RAM usage, gets rid of all the bloat within Windows, then it might be a good tool. And that's what we're going to look at today, how it does it and what the results are. So we're just going to type in Talon Debloater and it'll take us to this GitHub link. And from here you just want to scroll down and it says you can download the latest version of Talon here. And then download for Windows 11. And as you can see, we have run into our first problem. It will say, cannot download virus detected. And this is the exact same with um, Google as well. Because I did actually try and do this with Google. So what you actually need to do is go over to your Windows security settings. And this is the part that might throw a few people off because they're going to think this is definitely not safe. And I don't actually know how safe this tool is at all. So we're going to go to the settings for virus and threat protection. And then we're going to come to the exclusions. Add an exclusion. Folder. List PC. Local disk C. So now uh, Microsoft Defender shouldn't actually block the download. But we may still have issues with Edge blocking it. So there we are. It hasn't actually blocked it. We can actually go ahead and open the file now. But as I showed you there, we have to actually make an exclusion through the C drive or whichever drive it's being installed on. So let's go ahead and extract the file. 
and then right click run as administrator so straight away you're prompted with selecting your preferred web browser they recommend brave but i always use chrome it's just the most convenient for me i know some browsers are more bloated or heavy on the system compared to others but chrome is okay for me it's been fine and it's the one i'm most familiar with and then here it will also say about consider donating which you can go ahead and do there and you just have to click i will consider it and from here it's installing everything and it's doing everything now in the video that he posted uh maybe a couple of weeks or months ago before it was just a black screen with the text and i think that would have kind of i think his point was that people that don't know what they're doing or anything they might worry that they have no idea what's going on they're just hoping for the best pretty much but at least this way you can actually see what's going on we've got chocolatey installed in google chrome and doing everything like that so what we've basically just got to do here is wait it's installed in our browser as you can see at the bottom of the screen it tells you the step that we're on and it does say not to use your keyboard and mouse which i already did but <laughs> it's best to just leave it running and let it do its thing as you can see we've moved on to the fourth step which is deblowing windows and you will see as i said one tool for everything has popped up in the background which is the tool that i recommend to a lot of people now i don't know how like i said i don't know how safe this uh deep bloating tool is but i'm more than happy to try new things out uh, it seems to be gaining a lot of traction recently and i guess only time can actually tell whether this is a safe tool to use So currently it's just reset itself so it's reset the pc is restarting and i'm pretty sure this is it we've gone through all the steps now it doesn't really take that long it's just where it's um deep loading windows and installing your web browser they're the two parts that take maybe a minute or two but after that it goes through all the other steps quite fast and it restart your pc obviously you can't see my screen right now it is a black screen um but as soon as windows opens back up again you will be able to see Right, so as you can see, we are now back in Windows and our desktop looks a lot more different. As you can see, the little Windows icon has been moved to the left rather than the centered. All the little widgets and uh, annoying little things on the bottom have been taken away. We have got a Windows security thing, so I'm pretty sure you're either meant to turn off uh, virus and threat protection or it seems that like it's done itself because I don't think I've done that I think I've just done the exclusion but I'm pretty sure that you're fine to turn it back on the D bloat has been done so I don't know if this will have any adverse effects on the D bloat or anything afterwards but I'm going to turn um, the virus and threat protection back on and if you really wanted to you could um, remove the exclusion list so take the C drive out the exclusion list again so that way if you're ever downloading anything else in the future that you're not sure about then it will prompt you that it might be unsafe but there's one thing to note about that as well is that doesn't actually technically mean that the software or whatever application you're installing is unsafe so i wouldn't be too concerned about that i'm pretty sure there's a whole thing to getting that sorted i think you have to i don't know the exact details but i'm pretty sure you have to like verify program with microsoft for them to then let that be downloaded without any warnings but anyway as you can see our desktop looks a lot more clean we've got google chrome installed instead of edge if we come down to here there's no pinned apps and let's just take a look at what's actually installed so a lot less than what we had before we still have paint phone link we have windows terminal obviously the windows tools security backup and video control panel still we still have the microsoft store there's really not much um, on the system now but let's go ahead and look at our task manager and see what's actually changed i believe we had about 167 processors so as you can see our processors have dropped a lot by over half the amount so half the processors now 75 compared to 160 something and you will actually see that our ram usage i don't remember exactly what we had i think it was 3.5 gigabyte being used um, even with just stock windows but now we're down to 2.2 gigabytes
So quite obviously, this tool has the bloated windows quite well. Now, like I said, this is a brand new system. So what I will do is I will continue to use the system. And if I run into any issues that seem to be related to this D bloat, I will actually make an updated video. But if you don't hear from me and you don't see me post another one of these videos, then clearly it's worked absolutely fine and it's caused no issues for my system. But overall, as a newbie who barely knows anything, this tool, which is Talon by Raven, seems to have definitely de-bloated our system. This could be a good alternative for people that don't want to install custom OS because a lot of the time with a custom OS, you are fully stripping windows and sometimes it can have adverse effects. Maybe certain programs won't run. I've been tweaked by people before and they've put them on their custom OS and simple things that need the windows net runtime, which hasn't been installed and I can't install it because of the way the operating system has been set up so you know that can be a nuisance for a lot of people for some of you you may be happy with a custom os or even just keeping your windows stock the truth about what deep bloating windows is the difference between 160 processes compared to 74 like we've got here is minimal maybe even there's no difference let's say for example gaming for example because a lot of people deep bloat windows and a lot of people will claim that getting your processes down under 100 will increase your fps by x amount that is not true there's been many videos on this topic and the only actual time it make a difference is if you've got a bunch of different things running as an example i've seen people with up to nearly 300 background processes that is actually quite a lot so if you've installed multiple different rgb stuff mouse software keyboard software and you don't actually need it open or running it's best to make sure that you actually stop it from running on startup. So if we go here now, there's hardly anything on here because we haven't installed anything. But unless I need something running at startup for my PC to function correctly, you can uncheck it here. In Windows 11, you can't search for background apps. In Windows 10, you could and you could disable all background apps. So if you are installing a lot of software onto your PC, just make sure that it's not starting up with Windows every time. And sometimes in the actual software settings, you can choose whether it runs in the background or whether it starts up with Windows as well. But overall, that's it for this video today, guys. This is Talon by Raven, and it seems to be a pretty good deep load tool, at least my first impressions. But like I said, only time will tell if it will cause any issues. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all soon.